What is the EV to EBITDA ratio? The EV to EBITDA ratio or enterprise multiple is a valuation metric used by investors to value a company as if it was going to be acquired. It's calculated by taking the company's enterprise value and dividing it by the company's EBITDA, otherwise known as earnings before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization. The enterprise value of a company is simply the sum of its market cap, debt, minority interest and preferred shares less total cash and cash equivalents. This would equate to the actual cost to acquire the entire company as the formula takes into account debt and cash the purchaser would have to assume if they bought the company outright. Using EBITDA allows investors to compare companies in a more like-for-like basis as different companies may be subject to different tax rates or depreciation and amortization schedules. Let's say Carl wants to acquire Chessboard Inc. The company currently trades at a market capitalization of $1.5 billion. It has $1 billion in debt and cash of $500 million on the balance sheet, giving it an enterprise value of $2 billion. If we look at the statement of profit and loss, we can see the company has a net income of $600 million. In order to get EBITDA, we have to add back the tax charge of $200 million, interest of $150 million, and depreciation and amortization of $50 million. We can now see that Chessboard Inc. has an earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization of $1 billion. Using the enterprise multiple, we can say that Chessboard Inc. trades at two times its EBITDA. In other words, it would take two years for Carl to make his money back, assuming EBITDA remains the same going into the future. How do investors use the EV to EBITDA ratio? A low enterprise multiple signals that a company may be a strong candidate for a potential acquisition, or that it's trading at a cheap valuation relative to its current EBITDA. Whereas a high enterprise multiple may indicate that a company is expensive relative to its current EBITDA. Comparisons of the enterprise multiples of different companies are most accurate within the same industry. The enterprise multiple can also vary depending on the company's maturity and growth. High growth companies tend to have higher multiples than slow growth companies. The EV to EBITDA ratio alone is not enough to make an investment decision and should be used alongside other metrics and available information. Remember to take a holistic approach when attempting to value companies. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button.